Hello and welcome to the channel that is all about WordPress. Today we will learn how heat color and label variation for WooCommerce plugin works within the WooCommerce based website. Before that, let me tell you something about this plugin. Well, this plugin provides an immediate and quick look to the variations that a particular product is having. You can spot the variations immediately without having to open the drop down menu as it happens by default in WooCommerce. So let's add this plugin in the admin dashboard. Before setting up that plugin, let me show you how WooCommerce default variable products looks like. So let's go to a variable product page. Here you can see it's a variable product and for the attributes you have to click on the drop down and you have to select it accordingly. So let's add that plugin and we'll see what are the changes going to be. For adding the plugin, we will go to plugins, add new section. Now here we will provide the plugin name, which will search accordingly. Now as you can see, the plugin is showing here. For me, it is showing the activate button because I have already installed this plugin. For you, because you are going to install it for the first time, it will show you the install now button. So let's activate this plugin. As you can see in the plugin listing page, the heat color and label variations for WooCommerce plugin is activated. Let's go to the settings page. In the plugin settings page, you can see that it is showing some content and images that how this plugin works and how it is going to be shown within the front end. So for that, we need to add the attributes. So we are going to add two attributes that is color and label. For adding that color and label attribute, we will go to products attribute section. Now here within the attribute section, we will provide colors. We will select the type and add attribute. Now here we will click on configure terms. Let's add two colors that like red. Okay. From the color we can you can select the color. Add each color. Then blue now after adding the color attributes we'll click on the attribute section again and we'll add the label here label means i'm going to provide the Type. We will select that type as global. We'll click on another attribute. Now we'll click on configure terms. Now here we'll give as small s. Add new style, then send uh, medium, hmm. add new size. Now we will go to a variable products and assign these attributes to that, and then we'll see how it is going to reflect in the front end. Now, suppose 
we'll select the footy and within the product detail page we'll add the attributes here we will provide the attributes add here we can select the terms blue black we'll use for valuation then we'll select side add we'll set the size medium small now we save the attributes. Now within the variation section, we will remove the default uh, options showing. Let's remove it. Now here we are going to perform create variation from all attributes. We'll click on go button. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, four variations are created. We'll provide some data accordingly. Suppose um, price. Now I have provided the some details like a regular price. Well, save changes. Now, after saving the changes, we will update this product. Now we'll go to the front end and we'll see how the things are reflecting accordingly. So we'll go to the same variable product that we have seen before. So here you can see deviations are looking like this. You can click on color and you can and we'll show the amount accordingly for the price. So this is how that plugin works. And you can see it is more reliable and its look and feel is much better than the default functionality of dropdown provided by the WooCommerce. Thank you.